the other guys that are streaking that have played a bunch of games. So we gotta we gotta step it up. That game took too long. That game took too long. This game won't take as long. Here we go. Goring time. Goring time. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Goring Gambit. Danish Gambit, but better. H6. I guess he's trying to play an AF6 without an HG5, but it's not worth the time. I still have Queen B3 as another way to attack this. Also, an AF6 is E5 as a problem. Let's go Queen B3 now. So this is, we're sniping F7. Difficult pawn to protect. Best way to protect F7 is castle and have your rook do it. So, but now we're sniping here. It wasn't just an HG5 that I had that they took away here. And also an HG5 is not even a main idea because it allows an HG5 when you don't control this. Now Queen E7. Now, yeah, all the goring ideas are going to come out here really well. Only down one pawn, and the knight's going to come to d5. Very awkward place. Okay, an h5 here would be nice, but that's been gone. Bishop g5 would also be nice. It's also been gone. An t5 is interesting because takes, pawn takes, an 5 Just trying to use this file. I guess it's not the move at present. I'll play rook e1. I'm looking at e5, I'm looking at 5 I'm looking at anything that frees this guy. Ooh, we're going to send you right back. That's checked. This is why queen should go to d7, actually. Oh, an t5 here is going to be very strong. So is e5. Uh, which one's even better? Probably... E5. I think T5 actually forces Queen D8, and then you can go E5. That's just, like, so brutal. E5 takes... Nate takes... Nobody defends the Rook. I'll go E5. I don't know, Nate T5 was probably also good. The point being that I wanted to take with, actually, two killer pins there, if my pawn landed on D5. But yeah, queen e7, I mean, like I keep saying, queen blocking the bishop like that, it's just not fun, it's not good for the king. Oh, they go here. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not going to be it for them. Let's check. How to do it. Man, I wish I had this. <laughs> I will give them that. I wish I could go bishop g5 check here. Um, I have some... Really weird ideas that is just not worth it. My really weird idea was take, take, bishop g5, take, knight takes, and then trying to land a knight there or there at almost any cost. But instead, I'm just going to be normal and bring my pieces in. I think that could have worked, honestly. All right, well, anyway, Gambit Glass is off in any event because we are uh, up material and the rules are the rules. You can only use your superpowers sometimes. Oh, let me shrink this. Oh, I just also realized my clocks are wrong. Let me format this clock. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. Alright, that's better. Um, right, let me take the queen. Oh! Oh! Look at that! Check! Oh my goodness, look how good my pieces are. Wow. Oh my goodness, after king e8, I'm gonna have, like, multiple checkmates. This is one of them. Um, wow. That looks like, like kind of like a Morphe ending, right? With, like, the check and the rooks and the, the like, sacrificing the queen. It would have been even cooler if I couldn't take that back. If I could, if, if this was, like, a queen sacrifice, like, just bishop takes e5. But, yeah, that was just an absolute steamroll with the Goring. Just, just blowing them open in the middle. King never got out of the middle, and we got him. Yeah, don't let him castle. What's up, Arcane? Resting Forest? A4U2? Ergo Proxy? All the homies are here. Oh, I'll call Roman. Oh, yeah, let's Berserk. Let's Berserk, man. Bon Papier? Yes. Yes. Red 5? Yes. <laughs> Game class is on for the Bon Papier. Yeah, it is true. It is true. No, I don't know. Um, yeah, we hit him here, we hit him here, so... We got... Got yeah, some good stuffs. Yeah, the move here, bishop b5, threatening to take. No queen takes because of that. Yeah, man. Tall's blood metaphorically flows through my veins, you know? Trying to ch always trying to channel my inner Michael Tall. Alright, let's take this. I guess what we can do is go bishop takes, force a king takes with the queen defending here. Before they castle, right? So let's force that king takes. 
That seems like a good thing to do. And we'll castle into our safety. 8008 had to follow after that. <laughs> nice. Appreciate it. Um, what do we want to do with the queen? Let's just go here. I don't need to, like, I could, but I don't need to open another file for them onto my king. Let's get their king. Let's focus here. Knight f3, d5. Let's get all our pieces in. c6 seems to stop idea number one. I mean, this is, like, really hanging. I guess queen c7, I could trade. I guess knight f3, queen b6, knight e5 check. They have king c7. Is it worth? Is it not worth? I think I'll do it. I mean, I could just take a pawn and try and win in the end game. This is an interesting move. I don't want to get mated. But it's going to be check, and if they take, that's also check. So it poses some interesting questions. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Ooh, that's a blunder. King e7. Looks like it makes a lot of sense. It was the one move that defended here. But knight takes c6. That's what I call like a blend through defense. It blends through to defend there, and we got a fork. And I can take that rook actually still defending my queen, which is nice. Uh, ooh, knight b5 check looks tasty. We'll just do something normal here. Takes. I got rid of the rook that was also going to mate me. And if they trade queens, we'll be up a full thing. So we can swap queens. We can also just try to keep them on the board and checkmate them. Try that. Queen e3 and like d5. I mean, they have some good pieces too. Like, like I'm not going to deny that. But I think their king's in a worse situation than mine is. Uh, oh, okay. I kind of have to trade. Now. All right, we'll just trade. Let's go A3. We want an exchange. We want enough. Bro thinks he's a Karo. <laughs> Bro thinks he's a Karo. But thank you, homies. I much appreciate the support. Right, let's go here. So we've got two rooks for two bishops. I like... I like the rooks, also because they've just gotten rid of some of the bishops, so it's good stuff. All right, let's keep it rolling. No middle game buffoonery, just go for them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, if you guys sub, I made I made some nice emotes. I think I'm going to make even more emotes for for the subs. <laughs> it was a Von Popiel trick. It was Von Popiel. Um... Yeah, guys, I literally don't care. I literally don't care. You guys want to play that Von Popiel gambit? That was like the mainest Von Popiel trick that everyone falls for. It's just the main line. Uh, oh, I'm playing number two in the arena. What's my favorite opening? My favorite opening would be the Bush Gas Gambit. I mean, like, what else? What else? The Bush Gas Gambit. The greatest line of all time. Uh, what do we got here? Let's go d5. Let's just, I don't know, d5, e5, knight here, knight here. Let's take the whole center. c5. Kind of spicy. Kind of spicy. I guess they want, like, b4. I'll go here. I'll see what they do. Looks like they're queen. Make some decisions here. Push great the other. It's a tom. Have I contacted Mr. Gas yet? Yes, I actually did. <laughs> Ulrich Gas, I did. I've yet to reach, uh, hear back. I, I did reach out to Mr. Ulrich Gas. The legend himself. Let's go here, maybe E4. Yeah, let's go E4, see if we can't attack on the side of the board. But yeah, maybe I'll follow up with him. Maybe we'll fall. Damn, I wish I could get on this diagonal. Maybe we'll just run this pawn all the way here. I mean, they're, yeah, their light squares look kind of suspicious. Ooh. Hmm. G5, G4? I'm trying to crack this open. I'm trying to attack. Yeah, I mean, they got all dark square pawns, and we trade off for that light square bishop, which is good. So that means, like, that's their only guy. So it means really they should only be able to control half the squares on the board. Like bishop here, it's going to do absolutely nothing. The ball's never going to move. If I go g4, they will execute the push pass roll. It's important to note. We don't want to allow that. So what we'll do is probably play h4 so we can play g4 without that. I want to force this pawn trade. I don't want them to be able to deny me that trade. They could try this f3, but I will take it and then just pop my name to e4. Yeah, bishop's going to do nothing. This bishop's going to be shut out of the game. 
Whereas mine is the dark square bishop, but I have light square center pawn. So in theory, he should be able to find some openings. F4 gives me the same options as F3, and also this G4 option. I'm going to use the G4 one between those two. And we force this pawn trade, which is good, because everything else is locked. We force this pawn trade, and we'll have one file with which we can operate against that king. This G file, so that should be tasty. Bishop also came to h6, it found some uh, openings in the opponent's camp. If they had a four, I'll probably grab that pawn. And also I can castle any time. I don't know if there's actually an attack here. Um, but as soon as I want this rook, I'll castle, or maybe I'll even just step king e7. Like the center is so locked, I don't know how you're gonna get to my king. Yeah, gas is still alive. Yeah, it's uh, rather surprising, isn't it? But yes, no, uh, shout out to Ergo for doing some research on Bush and on gas. The real people, the, the, the founding fathers, if you will. All right, I'm stacking on the G file just because it's kind of like the only file. I'm also looking at this pawn. But yeah, I mean, come, come on, look, like, they just played an AC3, but before that, like, look how bad these pieces are, oh my goodness. And they never generate any attack. I put my king on e7, just because, how are you ever going to touch me? Maybe if I go to c8, maybe there's going to be some opening, I don't know. b5, maybe my knight will jump to c4, I guess that's why they're not doing it. It's the one piece, I guess, that's doing very little. So this bishop came here, found nothing, came here, came here. I guess it's going to come to e1 now. Something I'd like to do is rook g2... No clear follow-up. I would like to be able to have that square so I can checkmate you. But I don't, obviously. I mean, I'll probably just grab this pawn. Mr. Bush used to be president of the US. <laughs> so did his so did his father. Uh alright, take oh, I'm gonna take H3. Yeah, I mean their pieces are just quite bad. Right now, nice intermezzo. Nice intermezzo, and yeah, oh, we are through, we are through, through, through. We are so through, we have crashed right through, baby. Yeah, that was good, that was good, yeah, I mean, we played e4 here, that kind of shut shut down part of the board, and we trade off the light square bishops, which was the only useful piece, because they had all dark square pawns, so that bishop was bad. And then, yeah, I mean, it just, I had this whole side of the board to attack with, that pawn was a very powerful pawn, locked that out. And we just sent stuff there, and they never generated any counterplay against me. And we're tops in the arena. Look at that. We're tops in the arena. Mm -mm. Grafing on them, yeah. Yeah, I think that that was a pretty instructive win. That's how I like to win, honestly. I like to be able to control the position and then kind of have an attack that comes from really good control. Uh, all right. I think Berserking is really not necessary, being tops in the arena here. And also on a streak that we would be risking. So let's play a Goring Gambit. Let's keep it rolling. Oh, I just saw that 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 you like the London. Sorry, I kind of have something for everything. Uh, I may link the London Crush Nine Thousand. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'll do this when my opponent's thinking. Okay, wow. So they are blitzing out these moves. So the bishop takes c six is the key difference, actually. Like I was saying, between uh, the Danish and the Goring, you can imagine. In this position, this is the Danish Gambit going d4 and c3 without knight of 3. And this is much better. d3 is an interesting move that I'm actually not certain about. I guess I have a couple options here, like queen a4, like knight e5. I think knight e5 is like the most obvious because it gets the pawn back kind of without issue. Eight d four. I'd put in the same boat. Mm. 
Okay, I like the snake d4. I think it's quite interesting. The c5, I would love to go on ac6 and then kind of couple that. Yeah, I think that was actually a mistake on black's part. Because now I'm going to work e1. If bishop e7, then ac6 is very killer. It would hit here and here. And if they play bishop e6, well, then my knight's still here and can take it. It might not be the end of the world for them. For example, trade, they can go bishop e7, and they don't have, like, another knight to put on c6. King d7, oh my goodness, that's desperate. Wait, you're just made it in two. No, what? King d7? I mean, bishop e6 wasn't even that bad. Yeah, queen c6 is made. Was bishop e6 even that bad? What's the deal here? d3... It's saying rookie one check, but this is also about equally good. C5 check, bishop e6. Okay, I mean, this is, like, very good for white. It's, like, plus 1.2. But, um, I mean, king d7. <laughs> it's, just, it's mated. Okay, that's kind of funny. All right, we'll go back to the arena. Yeah, maybe they're trolling, but they were in very... They were in, like, second in the arena to be trolling. I mean, come on. All right, we are in very good position here to get a golden digital trophy. How many of those do I have on my profile on Leeches? I don't even know. Oh, wait, let's open the London here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, all birds are here since 1700. Yeah, London Crusher. Very, very good gambit. Oh my goodness! Someone just played it as soon as someone in chat asked about it. Wait, oh, they play c3. It's c3? I'm trying to remember. Okay, queen d6 anyway, right? c3 instead of e3 is a little bit strange. Meets Danish if I can't speak it. I love Danishes. The food and the people. Takes. It's very strange, right? Like, c3 takes. Maybe I should have taken d4 first. No, now I need two, I guess, to not lose this. Do I just keep eating the guys? Like, what should I do? I guess I should just keep eating things. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'll play like Mesa 6 or something. Try to play e5 would be nice. Take. Because rook b1 would just encourage me to eat. Queen b3. No, don't do that. Queen was doing something important. Oh, man. I should. I'm not even going to trade. I'm just going to try and kill them. You know, if they're not going to resign, then it might take a while. So, yeah, I'm going to go e5. I'm going to need d4. I'm going to take. I'm going to... Everybody's going to pour in here. Let's go e5. e3 is better, yes. And e3 is leads to the London Crusher 9000, which is when I'm... <laughs> I really, really love the London Crusher 9000. I was very excited to show it. I was kind of ashamed that I'm winning like this instead. There are certain ways I like to win, you know? Cause like I played out fun. Uh, what's the best way to do this? I mean, okay, we'd probably go here and get the killer check or something. Force king of one. Yeah, if you ask about the alphabet gambit, that's a fun one. Oh, they want to trade. Uh, so funny. I'm up a ruck, guys. I'm literally up a ruck. Okay. Yeah. Mm, here and here. Something like this. Should be good. Should be good. I see that. Since that king running out of squares. Check. I don't want to blunder mate myself. King f3. It's just going to give it like another check. Four. Kind of frustrating. <laughs> uh, where do I get ya? And hang mate. Mm -hmm. Alright, there has to be a mate here. I'm so intent on just like winning this game quickly rather than just like being up a rook for whatever reason. Let's not lose our queen. Yeah, that, that was a tricky backwards knight move, right? Almost got me. 
Almost got me. Check. Okay, we pinned, so there's only 82. Oh, where's this king going now? There. Check. <laughs> Took away that square. Oh, yeah. This was a king hunt. But I think it will be a successful king hunt. They have this move. Let me go here. Okay. I mean, this is kind of like just a ridiculous game, the fact that we're still playing. All right, I see it. Here and here. One, three. All right, finally. Finally. All right, we got him. We got him, we got him. All right, I think we have a sizable lead here in the arena. I think even if I actually pause right now, we will still win the arena. I don't think it, I don't see anyone finishing all these games so quickly. All right, I actually have to run right now. I have to watch Survivor with my friends. Um, but actually, stay tuned for a moment. Let's figure out who to raid on uh, Twitch.